I recently heard a podcast where they interviewed a nutrition expert who said it's perfectly normal to lose between 20 and 40% of your body weight from muscle and lean tissue. Normal to lose up to 40% muscle. The problem is people don't realize there are alternatives to extreme calorie restriction or injectable medications. All right, so this study that I'm talking about was published in iScience, and it was an interesting sort of two-part study. First, they did a three-week ketogenic diet intervention on healthy individuals with a control group following a Western diet. But the next part was a three-month intervention in patients who were overweight. Now, this part got my attention. And what's interesting is they ate 2,800 calories per day. 2,800. Right? And that was based on calculations for what would be eucaloric or presumably weight stable. So there was no calorie restriction and their total grams of carbohydrates that they averaged was 35 per day. And they were checking ketones with the average beta hydroxybutyrate above one. Well, in three months, the subjects lost an average of six kilograms, which is around 13 pounds. But here's the most interesting part. Using a bioimpedance scale, they were able to determine that all of the weight loss was fat loss. There was no lean muscle or bone loss. The visceral fat decreased by 14%, the fat mass decreased by 14% with no change in lean mass. Now that's gotta be a pretty revolutionary finding for a profession that feels like it's normal to lose 40% of your weight from muscle, right? 